With all nitrogen generator upgrades, Leonard has now provided a line leak check label. It goes on the outside of your walk-in cooler to advise your busboys, your waitresses, barbacks, how the line leak detector works. Basically, there's four easy steps. First, find and locate the line leak detector inside your walk-in cooler. One very important thing to remember with the line leak detector is that you can only check the unit when your draft system is not being used. Ideally, this would mean in the morning before any beer is poured. If you check it during the day, you may get a false reading and see one of the two balls floating. Second, if neither one of the balls are floating, you have no leaks inside your walk-in cooler, and that's the ideal situation. Third, if either one of the white balls are floating, you know you have a leak somewhere inside your walk-in cooler either at the Sankey or at one of the regulators. Fourth, it states if you have a leak somewhere in the walk-in cooler with either ball floating, you should call Leonard's right away because you're wasting CO2 and nitrogen at the same time. Let's go find our line leak detector inside your walk-in cooler. Once in your walk-in cooler, you want to investigate and find where the line leak detector is located. It should be mounted on the wall somewhere up high and we found it back here in the corner. Once you've located your line leak detector, you're going to see two lines coming in and two lines going out. Most line leak detectors are like this. What you want to look for is see if the balls are floating in any way. The left or right ball should both be at the bottom of the line leak detector. If they are floating up high, out of sight, you know you have a major leak somewhere in your cooler or regulators. If they are floating just a little bit off the base, you know you have a small leak, but there definitely is a leak somewhere, and you most likely want to have it addressed by calling Leonard's for service. When your ball is floating near the top, you can have someone help you, or you can do it by yourself. Actually go around and turn off the shutoffs on each of the regulators, and watch the ball until it drops. At that point you know you've isolated the leak.